I'm making this video for someone who's looking to make one, make a sawmill of their own. Maybe so I can give them some ideas or whatever. I got most of my ideas off of YouTube, and I used a, a little bit off of every video I watched. Some videos I liked, some I didn't. I ain't telling you you have to make one like this. I'm just giving you some ideas of how to do yours. This one works pretty decent. I mean, it's no speed demon. It ain't going to start a business or nothing. But if you want to cut your own wood at the house, do little projects or whatever, it's perfect for that. So I'm going to give you a complete walk around of the mill so you can see what I've done. And then I'll run it and cut a board or cut a log up with it and show you how it runs. All right, for the walk around. I built this sawmill here mostly out of scrap. It's just a bunch of scrap metal that was laying around, some old pipes and stuff, old metal frames, just whatever I could find. And this right here, this hub and everything came off an old go-kart I had, I mean a golf cart I had laying around. And I used the uh, the tie rod in for the adjustment to keep the band on, on the tire. It's kind of different than what everybody else does. It's down underneath where most everybody else is on the side. And to adjust the band, I put these, uh, these pipes right here go inside of these on both sides. And then I just got a little adjusting thing to tighten the band up. Well, after I put the mill together, I ain't even had to use that because the band fit perfect and I can keep it tight with the, uh, just putting air in the tires. But anyway, the way I got my belt tension set up is pretty basic. It just, the engine just slides back and forth. That's it. I got a little handle right here, I lock it in when the belt's tight. I got several adjustments on here so I can case the belt stretches or whatever, but that's it. That's all there is to that. This is not a very powerful engine. It's a Harbor Freight engine. I had a coupon for $94 plus tax. It's not very powerful, but it works. Down here, Let's see. Uh, I just wanted to say that I, I built the sawmill around the band. I ordered the band first and then built the sawmill to fit the band. I thought that was the easiest way. This is a 12-foot band, the Harbor Freight and the, the uh, Wood Miser LT10, I think, uses this 12-foot blade. They're easy to come by. They're 14 something a piece. They're not even $15 a piece. On the engine, this is a two and a half inch pulley. This is an eight inch pulley on a one inch shaft. And you can see I, on my frame, I just welded some angle iron pieces right here with pillar block bearings on both sides. Uh, this is just a, a go-kart hub you can get off eBay I just put that on the shaft these are some old trailer tires I had they're 12 inch rims overall the whole wheel and all is 19 inches my, as far as my blade guides there's two bearings up here, two bearings down here, and I got one back here that the blade rides against. And I got it through some tube steel here, some square tube steel. Conveniently, well it takes five of these per side, and conveniently you can get these on eBay in a pack of ten. So that worked out perfect. And let's see, uh, one on each side. This, this blade guide actually goes in and out to wherever I need it. 
let's see uh, as far as my raising and lowering I just got a little old boat winch or whatever trailer winch or whatever dead center and I just run a cable off that side and a cable off of that side down to the frame this is nothing but a garage door pulley you can get these at Lowe's for three dollars and something a piece pretty cheap I extended the handle out right here with a piece of all thread and put me a little carrier right here just to hold the end of it each click on this thing is an eighth of an inch and over here I just put one of them metal yard sticks right here for the height and just a little old piece of metal right here bolted in to show where it's at you know if it says 11 inches right there it's 11 inches off the log bed exactly I made sure it was exact that way I know how low I was getting to the bottom of the log bed I put a little adjusting collar right there where my cable hooks in I can adjust that blade within sixteenth of an inch that worked out really good so I can keep that blade just as level as I can uh, as far as the casters on the bottom they're just the v-groove caster wheels I just put them on there this this metal rail that it's riding on was I'm not sure what it was but it came out of a barn it was given to me they were throwing it away I just took it and uh, just some scrap metal here on the log bed that I had laying around I used it to, for the log bed uh, this is how I lock my log in it's pretty simple I just welded a lag bolt on the end to stick into the log and that just locks in uh, to hold my log I got these pipes that drop in here that's exactly a half inch off the log once I get a, a cant cut I just butt it up against there like that I have some longer ones that stick up a little stick up a little higher to hold the log when I'm cutting it until I get it squared up but that worked really good basically I think that's about it I can't think of anything it's just so it's really simple I mean really simple but it works for me I guess that's about it I'll cut a log with it show you how it runs and uh, maybe it'll give you some ideas on how to build yours. All right, to save some time, I went ahead and uh, squared my log up. I'm just going to show you how you, I, I'm going to cut some two by sixes off this cedar, just to show you how it cuts. Two by six cedar out of a log that was rotting away in the woods. I just brought it home and sawed it up, and that makes it worth having a sawmill right there.
I'll cut another one just to show you how it does. Pretty good for a ragged log. I did some interesting stuff with the sawmill also. I've done a little book matching I thought was pretty neat. I did uh, some flaming box elder. I put some pictures on this video show you what you can do with this little old sawmill that, that you're not going to buy in any store. Any lumber yard is going to have this stuff. But. I'll put them pictures on there so you can see them. If this convinces you to build a, a sawmill, then I'm glad I could help. <laughs>